Deep Agent by Abacus AI is truly impressive. It seems to be able to complete any task I throw at it. It can build web apps, perform deep research, create detailed presentations, and even use a virtual computer. There seems to be a lot of talk around deep agents that can perform pretty much any task. And you might have seen agents being included in ChatGPT as well through their agent mode. And one such deep agent that's been getting a lot of attention lately is Deep Agent by Abacus AI. I've already created several videos on Chat LLM on my channel, but if you're new to this, it's a single platform that gives you access to pretty much any model you can imagine. These include chat models, reasoning models, and even image and video generation models. And you get access to all of this at a flat rate of only $10 per month, which is way cheaper than separately signing up to each of these providers. Now, what we want to have a look at in this video is the Deep Agent, which can do a lot of very cool things, like generate and host apps, create presentations, automate tasks, do deep research and analysis, and a lot more. It can even integrate with third-party applications like Slack and Gmail, etc., to automate tasks for you. Now, I do want to mention that for this standard plan, you get access to three deep agent executions per month, which makes sense as deep agents actually take a long time to complete and they are quite expensive to run. But if you upgrade to their pro plan, which is still only $20 a month, you get about 25 deep agent executions. So I just wanted to mention that. After signing into Chat LLM, you should see a dashboard similar to this. We can start a new conversation, and from the drop down, we have access to about 66 different models, which is insane. Everything from ChatGPT to Anthropic to Google to Grok, and a lot, lot more. And of course, we can also generate images. And if we click on more, we get access to even more features like video gen. But that's not what we're here for. We are interested in Deep Agent. So I'm going to click on Deep Agent. And now we can tell the agent what we want it to do. Now, this tool is really powerful. And if we scroll down, we can get some inspiration from these different examples. It's able to analyze documents. It can do things like vibe code the CRM platform. It can even create short videos generate chatbots, and of course, if we click on more, we can use MCP servers, perform deep research, create PowerPoint presentations, and get the agent to use its own browser to maybe scrape data or perform research for us. Either way, let's send our first project idea. Let's say, build a fully functional game of Sudoku. Keep it simple and functional. Let's send this. Before I start to build your game, I need to clarify a few things. What difficulty level would you like? Would you like features like hints, timers, and scores? Should the players be able to save their progress? And should the game validate moves in real time or only when the puzzles are completed? Let's say, create easy, medium, and hard difficulty levels. Add hints. Players should be able to save and validate the puzzle when completed. Let's send this. And while the agent is busy, I actually want to show you this. In the top right corner, you'll see this little computer icon and this green status. This is the agent's virtual computer. If you click on this, you will see this agent actually has access to its own virtual computer. And depending on the task, you'll actually see the agent using the apps on this machine. All right, going back to our chat, we can see the agent is busy writing all the files for our application. And if we click on resume streaming, we get a view of the code that is currently generating. I'll just give the agent a few minutes to complete. All right, it took about a minute or two, and we now have our game of Sudoku. On the right, we can see the code that was generated. So if we wanted to, we could browse into this folder and have a look at the app that was created. So just looking at this package file, it seems Deep Agent actually built a Next.js application, which is really cool. Anyway, we're not interested in that. Let's jump back to the preview page. And here we can see a preview of our application. So we can set the difficulty level. We can restart the game. And let's see if we can enter values, which we can. And it seems like these values are validated in real time. Let's try to save the game. So this is called this demo. Let's save this. And apparently the game was saved. So I'll try to add a few more entries. Let's click on load. It's like demo. And indeed the game was reverted back to that save. That's really cool. 
Right, this seems like we have a fully working game of Sudoku. What I also want to mention is if we click on this computer icon, we can see the virtual computer that the agent is using. And we can see the agent actually open up the application in its browser as well. This is really important. The agent built our application just like something like Bolt or Lovable would do. But the big difference here is the agent was able to open up the application itself and it's using Vision to review the app as well. This means the agent can test and troubleshoot the application itself and make changes as it's going along. All right, cool, let's try another project. Deep Agent is really good at doing deep research and producing detailed reports. So let's say, create a technical report on MCP. It should be more than 15 pages. Let's send this. All right, so it's saying before I create a comprehensive technical report on MCP, I need to clarify a few things. Are you referring to model context protocol? So I'll just say yes, model context protocol. And for the rest, I'll just say you can choose the aspects, select an audience and the rest. Do your thing. Let's send this. And this process can actually take multiple minutes to complete as this agent does a thorough job of researching topics and producing the final results. So I'm going to skip ahead to when this agent is done. All right, deep agent is done. And on the left, we can see it says that, okay, the report is complete. And we can also download the report as a PDF. And on the right hand side, we can see a preview of that report. And I can already tell this is really a long and detailed report. And if you have a look at the PDF document itself, it's neatly formatted. This looks really professional. And as we scroll down, we can see that this is really a long and detailed report. And we also get all of the references at the bottom of the report as well. This is seriously impressive. Let's create another project. Let's say we wanted to get a better understanding of the different benchmarks used to evaluate LLMs. I want to present this back to my team as a PowerPoint presentation. So we could say, create a PowerPoint presentation around different benchmarks used to evaluate LLMs. Let's send this. And of course, Deep Agent will first ask a few clarifying questions. So I'll just say it's for a general audience in all major categories, focus on explaining the benchmark measures. Let's send this. And this will take a few minutes to complete, so I'll skip ahead to the results. All right, let's check in with our agent. So we can see it's created this research report that contains all the information it collected. Then it created the separate document listing all the images required for the presentation. That's interesting. Then scrolling down, I also noticed this interesting step. It created this generating image step, which actually used an LLM to generate the background image. That's really cool. And cool, our presentation is ready. It used the AI generated background that it came up with. And of course, we can slide through this presentation. This is awesome. The styling looks good. It used suitable icons. And of course, we are able to export it as a PDF or as a PowerPoint presentation. Now let's try one more demo. I'm really curious about this virtual computer that it has access to. Let's give it a prompt, like find the cheapest flight tickets from Cape Town to New York on the 30th of September, 2025. It's for a round trip for two people. And let's also add the return date is the 5th of October. I'm flexible on the times and dates. Let's send this. And now I would expect Deep Agent to actually use its internal browser to find this information for us. It's asking a few clarifying questions like which class. So I'll just say economy, I'm flexible with the airports, two day difference. I don't have any airline preferences and direct flights are preferred but not required. Let's send this. All right, this is cool. The agent opened up the browser in its own little virtual computer. So it's opening up new tabs for different websites and then searching for flight information, all on autopilot. This can actually make Deep Agent an incredibly useful web scraping tool. So what do you think about Deep Agents? Is this something that you would use as part of your workflow? I would definitely recommend trying out Deep Agent from Abacus AI. Use the link in the description to tell them I sent you. Also check out these other videos where I show you very cool features offered by Chat LLM. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.